and welcome back to my YouTube channel, TBG Family, though, man. That's the channel, bro. TBG Family, though. Comment down below. Or say subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. It's TBG Family. That's the channel. I want to get into this video, man, about Ivy Smith. Lil Ivy Smith. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to Lil Ivy Smith. You know what I'm saying? My prayers go out to the whole TBG family. My my prayers go out to the whole TBG family. Everybody who they lost and they and they click. My prayers go out to every last one of them. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. My prayers go out to every last one of them. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't know, man. Like little Ivy, little Ivy, little Ivy Smith. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know, nigga. He was a street legend. When I say that nigga, he was a street legend. He had a lot of love in the city. He had a lot of love in the city. He had a lot of niggas fucking with him. He had a lot of niggas clicking up with him. You know what I'm saying? He had a lot of love in his city. He had a lot of love where he was from, bro. Like on some real shit, he had a lot of love where he was from. He was like a big dog in his motherfucking city. He was like the big dog. Like everybody come to him for protection. Everybody call him if they got problems. You know what I'm saying? But he was like the big dog in the city. You know what I'm saying? He never did no snake shit. Never did no setup shit. Never, never a backdoor the nigga. Never did none of that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't understand, bro. Like, you know, little Ivy Smith. Yeah, like I think he was set up. I think he was set up. You know what I'm saying? I think somebody set him up. And shit, yeah, I think somebody said a month, you know what I'm saying? But far as do I think, I think him and Boosie, Lil Boosie, they was real close. You know what I'm saying? Him and Lil Boosie, they was real close. Like, they was best friends. Like, they was brothers. Like, they was on some shit, like, where they, nigga, like, nigga, they wear the same clothes, nigga. They, they, they share their clothes, nigga, with each other. They was, like, best friends and shit, right? But a lot of people don't know, nigga, Lil Ivy Smith, nigga, he was the big dog. Nigga, he was the big dog out of the shit. You know what I'm saying? He was the big dog. Lil Boosie looked up to him. You know what I'm saying? Lil Boosie looked up to him. You know what I'm saying? Lil Boosie looked up to him. But, you know, nigga, they had some beef, nigga, with some niggas and shit. They had some beef with some niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, in their city and shit, you know? But, like, you know, like, nigga, Lil Ivy Smith, nigga, he always been a big dog. He always been a real nigga. He always been a street nigga. He never been no uh, he ain't never been no fuck nigga. He ain't never did no no pussy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that dude don't always been a real nigga. He like like he a real legend. Like in the streets, bro. He a real legend. You know what I'm saying? And then like one thing about Ivy Smith, nigga, he could rap his ass off. You know what I'm saying? He could rap his ass off. Like really he was rapping before Boosie and shit. You know what I'm saying? He was rapping before Boosie. That's that's the the Ivy Smith, the one who influenced Boosie to rap. You know what I'm saying? He influenced Boosie to rap and shit. And to, nigga to do rap, nigga. Ivy Smith, nigga. Nigga, little Ivy Smith is the one who influenced Boosie to rap and shit. And Bleak. Nigga, both of them niggas influenced Boosie to rap and shit, bro. And then that's how Boosie nigga started rapping and shit and became a rapper, my nigga. Like on some real shit, man. Like on some real shit. But like I said, bro, um, like, you know, everybody talking about allegedly, everybody saying allegedly Boosie set up his, his partners. I don't, I, I don't think that, I don't think Boosie set up his partners. I think Boosie envy his partners sometimes. I think he wanted to be the big dog. I think that nigga wanted to be the big dog and I think the nigga just envy his partners. But I don't think, nigga, he didn't have that much hate nigga to set up his partners. You know what I'm saying? But I think he envy his partners sometimes. He like, you know how a nigga, like, say if you the big dog, right? Say if you a big dog and you want to be in that position. Nigga, you want to be in that position, nigga, where you call shots, you call this, you talk, you know, like, nigga, you, you want to be the big dog. Like, I feel like Boosie wanted to be that nigga, you know what I'm saying? And Boosie wanted to be that motherfucking rapper. He wanted to be over all his partners. Like, he wanted his partners to be under him. But, you know, like... My really questioning my nigga, my really honesty, bro. I don't think Boosie, like, nigga, put a play in and be like, hey, hey, I want you to do this. I want you to knock these niggas off. Boosie didn't do no shit like that, bro. 
like on some real shit, boosting in there and do shit like that, bro. That's what the, that's what YouTube and the fans are saying and shit. They always saying that shit, nigga. When Lil Ivy Smith died, bro, like we wasn't there, we don't know what happened. But far as I do think somebody, nigga, has something to do with his death. Yes, I do think somebody set him up and like nigga backdoored him. Like you know when a nigga, when I say backdoored, it's like when a nigga know where you going, know your locations, and then put out your locations. Hey, bro, I just saw him drive by. You right over here, bro. Yeah, he over here right now. That's what I mean, backdoor. So when I say rappers get backdoor, that's what I mean about a rapper getting backdoor. But I don't feel like Boosie nigga had no hate like that nigga to Ivy Smith. You know what I'm saying? Lil Ivy. You know what I'm saying? But he was just, je he had jealousy. You know what I'm saying? Boosie had jealousy, nigga. Like, you know, like, you know, where you want to be in a position, my nigga. You want to be the boss, nigga. Like, nigga, I want to be the boss. I want to be the head hunt. Nigga, you know, it was shit like that. But a lot of people don't understand. Lil Ivy Smith, nigga, Lil Ivy Smith. Man, he took care of everybody in the hood. Nigga, he fed everybody in the hood. He fed moms, son. He fed daughters. He fed everybody. I'm talking about kids. He fed other people kids, nigga. He made sure they had clothes on their backs, shoes on their backs, nigga. Nigga, backpacks, nigga. Made sure they had school money, nigga. He fed the whole hood. He fed the whole hood. And I don't understand, like, you know, Ivy Smith, nigga, he had a good heart and a good soul. So I didn't understand, like, why would a nigga want to set him up and backdoor him? But the reason why a person did that, because it's all about jealousy. You know what I'm saying? It's all about jealousy. When a person envy you and they want to be on top, nigga, they will do anything, nigga, to get your ass up out of here. You know what I'm saying? So when a person, nigga, jealous of you and they, when they want to be the big dog, they want to be on top, nigga, they'll set your ass up, nigga, fast. They set you up fast, nigga, like, nigga, we got to get this nigga up out of here. Like, nigga, I want to be in the position. I want to be the big dog. I want to be the car the shots, you know? So, like, I do think somebody did that, but I don't think Lil Boosie did that shit. You know what I'm saying? It could have been somebody else around Boosie. It could have been another nigga around Boosie did that. It could have been another nigga around the whole clique that did that. You know what I'm saying? We don't know we wasn't there. So, about everybody, you know, about them fans saying shit. Oh, yeah, he did this, he did this. Y'all niggas can't put that on Boosie, bro. I don't think y'all should be able to put that on Boosie because, nigga, Boosie really had love for his people. He had love for his, his homies and shit. You know, he had love for them, but don't get it fucked up. Like, you know, I believe in him. He did envy him. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, sometimes, nigga, they fell, they fell out a lot, a lot of times. Nigga, Lil Boosie fell out, nigga, with everybody, nigga, a couple times. You know what I'm saying? Lil Boosie fell out, nigga, with his partners, nigga, a couple times, nigga, over dumb shit, nigga. Sometimes they fell out, nigga, over bitches, over bitches. Sometimes they fell out over um, lean, you know, because Lil Boosie, nigga, used to be hard on the lean, nigga, in the back in the days, nigga. And that nigga used to be hard on the lean, nigga. That nigga used to be a, a addict. He used to be an addict, nigga. Lil Boosie was an addict and shit. So he was hard on that motherfucking lean and shit, you know what I'm saying? So Lil Boosie had motherfucking... He, he a snap, nigga, if he ain't had his fix, nigga. If Lil Boosie ain't got his fix, nigga, he snapping on motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? So, really, when a person on drugs, we don't know what a person go through when they withdrawing. When they withdrawing or they detoxing, we don't know what a person might do, you know what I'm saying? So, that's why you got to watch who the fuck you fuck with. You got to watch who you kick it with. And you got to watch the niggas around you at all times, you know what I'm saying? But far as niggas trying to say Lil Boosie set up Ivy, Lil Ivy Smith, nah, bro, he didn't do that, bro. He didn't do that one. You know what I'm saying? He didn't do that one. I don't think so, bro. You know what I'm saying? I do not think so, bro. Like, because you got to think about it, my nigga. How can you, like, you got to think about it. You going to live with this for the rest of your life, my nigga. You, this shit going to be eating your body, eating your soul up, my nigga. You set up your own homeboy, nigga. So every time you lay down, nigga, you going to be thinking about this shit. Man, I put a play in on my nigga. I set my nigga up, man. My nigga ain't here today, nigga. Like, that shit gonna live with you, bro. Like, it is some cold-hearted ass niggas out there will do that shit. But I don't think, like, Lil Boosie don't look like that nigga. Like, everybody saying allegedly, everybody allegedly, everybody saying Lil Boosie is a, is a, is a snake-ass nigga. Like, like, he look like he is set a nigga up. Nigga, when I look at Lil Boosie, I don't see that shit, bro. I don't see, like, Lil Boosie was set a nigga up. You know what I'm saying? 
Like he might do some other shit behind y'all back, behind a nigga back, but I don't see no shit like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Especially a nigga that he came up with. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't know, nigga. Every since, nigga, it was before Lil Ivy Smith passed away. My nigga, he had a um, he signed he signed a record, he signed a deal, he signed a deal, nigga. I think he signed a deal with some record label, my nigga. I think he signed a deal with Interscope, nigga, or some deal. So he was about to take off. Lil Ivy Smith was about to take off. And Lil Boosie thought he was about to take off, nigga, and don't fuck with him. Lil Boosie probably thought, like, nigga, he was about to just take off, nigga, and this nigga don't fuck with nobody in, in the city and shit. So, nigga, it could have been jealousy right there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know. Lil Ivy Smith, nigga, signed a record deal. He signed a record deal three days before he got hit, bro. Three days before somebody killed him. He signed a record deal, bro. Three days before he got killed, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And that's fucked up because I think, nigga, that's envy. I think envy, hate, nigga, and animosity. You know what I'm saying? But I think a whole nigga set a nigga up. A whole nigga, if you a real nigga and you know you a real nigga, you a real street nigga, don't set me up, nigga. Come and do it to my face, nigga. Let me see your face, nigga. Let me see you do it to my face, nigga. Like, nigga, don't do no whole shit. Don't, don't set me up, nigga. Don't call a, a play, nigga, on me, nigga. Won't you come and do it yourself, nigga? If you got so much hate and so much animosity, me, nigga, do it yourself, nigga. Don't set me up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't do no whole shit and have niggas, nigga, shoot my car up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's some real nigga shit, bro. Like, I think niggas is hoes like that, bro. When a nigga, when another man set another man up, nigga, and do get him back door to get him killed. I think that's some whole shit. A real man, nigga, should be able to walk up to your ass, nigga, and tell you, nigga, he had a problem with you, nigga, and y'all should be able to settle this shit, nigga, by fighting. If y'all can't settle this shit by fighting, nigga, the guns got to come out, then y'all niggas should blaze each other up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think a nigga should set a nigga up, bro. I think that's some whole shit when a nigga do that shit, bro. You know? But like I said, man, my prayers go out to Lil Ivy, Lil Ivy Smith. My prayers go out to Lil Ivy Smith. You know, Lil Ivy Smith. You know, you know, my prayers go out to him and his family. My prayers go out to TBG, every every last every last one of the TBG family members. My prayers go out to every last one of them too, because you know TBG. A lot of people don't understand, bro. TBG, nigga, TBG, TBG, nigga, little Ivy Smith made that shit up, bro. That's his shit, bro. That's his shit, nigga. Little Boosie didn't have shit with that, bro. Little Boosie didn't make that shit up, bro. You know what I'm saying? And now little Ivy. Little, little Ivy Junior Junior Smith is rapping now, nigga. So nigga, yeah, nigga, they got a problem, nigga, cause little blue um little little Ivy son nigga is rapping. And nigga, that nigga's a beast, nigga, when it come down to this rapping shit, my nigga. That nigga's a beast, bro. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't understand, bro. Little Ivy, little Ivy Smith Junior, bro. That that nigga's a beast, bro. But little Ivy Smith, bro, he had nigga, he had the streets on lock, nigga. He was a street legend, bro. He was a street legend, my nigga. So, like I said, bro, rest in peace to him, bro. My prayers go out to the whole family, bro. You know what I'm saying? And for all you people who think nigga Lil Boosie was, like, you know, taking care of, like, taking care of Lil Ivy. You know, Lil Ivy Smith Jr. kids, nigga. Nah, nigga, he ain't, he ain't doing that, bro. Nigga, he wasn't doing that, bro. He was not doing that, bro. He was taking care of his kids. You know what I'm saying? His own kids, but he was not taking care of his kids. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, for real, bro. You know? But, nigga, I, I do not think Lil Boosie did no shit like that. You know? But, <clears throat> it could be, I could, I, nigga, I could be wrong. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong. But I want all my subscribers to subscribe to the channel, man. TBG family. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Man, you know what I'm saying? I love all my subscribers. I love all my fans. I love y'all.